How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and you're probably wondering why I've got my hood popped on my on Brooke, my 2022 Toyota Tacoma SR5 with the V6. Well, I've got a new performance mod going on to the truck. That is right, we're upgrading something else. That is supposed not to void my warranty. I already checked with Fox Toyota. They're cool with it. I'm good to go. What we got right here is Rip Ignitions. It's a performance coil pack, coils for the Tacoma. That is right. These are performance coils for the Tacoma. These fit, they do the 16 through present Toyota Tacoma 3.5 liter V6s and the old 4.0s in the um, Forerunner and the older Tacomas. Now, you get 10 to 15 extra horsepower in the 4.0s and 20 to 30 extra horsepower um, on the 3.5 liter like in my Tacoma right here. On top of that, you get um, better MPGs will be testing out in this video. Now, they give clear instructions on how to install this, what um, tools I'm going to need, um, and stuff like that. Now, the, gr the good part is, the first part of it is taking off your air filter, your air box and stuff like that, which I don't have to worry about. So, I'm very happy about that because I've got the Rough Country Cold Air Intake. If you haven't seen that video, um, Ty will be popping up, link down in the description, check out this video, it really helped out this truck a lot. And as of right now, I'm absolutely loving it. So, the coil packs, you know, right here, here's one, here's one, here's another. Now, the interesting part, which I'll use the instructions for, of course, is on this side. This is the side that's going to be the fun when it comes to doing these coil packs, which is what the instructions are for. So, I am not, it's not gonna be a detail in depth on how to install these. Make sure you follow their instructions or contact them if you have any problems, but we are gonna go for it. I cannot wait to throw these in the truck. This passenger side is buttoned up. Everything's good to go, coils are in, everything's locked in, all the sensors are locked back in. They need to be locked back in, yep. Making sure. Looks all really, really good. We got to go over to the driver's side. Now, like I said, follow the instructions. Now, I'm labeling, all, I built us a little diagram. Label them as I go one, two, and three. And I wrote them on this one, two, and three. So, it should be good. So, now time for the driver's side. The driver's side is on. Everything is hooked back up. Like I said, follow the instructions. This side was a little bit more difficult, but with some finessing, and patience you can do it that one's hidden behind the heat shield right there you have to take off and they're all in so uh let me put this little bracket back on right here and uh, it's time for first start might as well try no check engine lights she's running all right Like a good run in Tacoma. See here, make sure there's no check engine lights. Nope, we are good. So now we're gonna go to the testing phase. It's currently getting darker out, so I'm gonna, this is not the fuel test run, it's just like a test run. I wanna see how it works. I can tell a difference already. Like, especially, I didn't think I would feel it in the power. This truck is a lot more lively, a lot more peppy, especially around 25 to about four to 5,000 RPM. You can tell a big difference. It's a lot smoother, too. Like, it doesn't abruptly hit you. It, like, lays into it a whole lot smoother than the stock coils. So, as of right now, I'm extremely happy with it. But we'll see what the uh, the fuel economy runs are. It'll be later in this video. But I am very happy. Let's see if we can way back into it. Oh, yeah. It just gets back on power so much better than stock. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's a whole lot better. Like, I don't know if you can tell by video unless you own a stock Tacoma. Then maybe you can tell by the video. But this thing gets on power so much better. So way more linear and way more just more pleasurable to drive so now we're at the part of the video where we do the fuel mileage test um we're gonna do the city part first which is around 60 miles one trip and then the interstate part which would be 100 miles round trip and on the interstate part the national average for sp the speed limit across the whole nation we average them out is around 70 miles an hour so i try to lock in at 70 miles an hour the city back country road highway driving it's a mixture of speeds and stoplights and stuff like that 
so we can see i go to the same exact gas station on all the runs you all would know this if you watch the rough country uh cold air intake video i let it top off wait 15 seconds and click it again and then i do my math and average it out so that's how i kind of do that so we will fill up and then uh, we'll start the city run. We're pulling in back into the um, the gas station. It's to the, si the city highway, back country, back roads, whatever you want to call it. Right now I'm averaging 28.5 miles to the gallon. That is what is the truck is saying. We will see when we get in there. And then I'll do the highway run tell you and then average that out. And then I will let you all know the details. But um. As of right now, according to the computer of the truck, it's more than stock and with the intake. So, might be onto something. We just did the city back roads, how we want to call it. So now we're doing the interstate and interesting result. That's all I'm going to say. So right now we're going to do the interstate loop, which is a hundred miles uh, round trip, basically. Um, like I said, 70 miles an hour is going to be the top speed that I'm going to try to maintain because that's a national average of the entire Turn United States is 70. North so that should be good, but uh, we'll see how it works. So we got the final results. I got the highway and it's very interesting results. And I want to go over that with you real quick. But a reminder, the Tacoma got before any mod, just stock Tacoma. It got 26.8 on the highway and 24.6 on the uh, city back roads. With the rough country intake, highway was 26.6 and sitting back row was 27.6. So now, rough country, cold air intake with the rip performance coils, it got highway or interstate, whatever you want to call it, 25.5, but city and back row was 28.71. And here's why I think that is, is because when I went on the interstate just now, did my 100 mile loop, I try to keep it at 70 the best I could, it's a real world situation, but constantly fluctuating because of traffic, people cutting you off, it's West Knoxville, you know, stuff like that. So I think that has something to do with it, but those are the results. And so it did help and it didn't help depending on the aspect. So that being said, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I highly recommend these quotes, guys. The performance aspect is great. As you can see, depending on the situation or how you drive, it does help increase MPG some. So if you want these coils, link will be down in the description. Make sure you check them out. They're awesome. Highly recommend them. They're great. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you like the video, leave a like, new channel. Please subscribe to the Trucks Warner family. We're constantly growing, changing, trying new and better things. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.